I'm Whitley Strieber, the author of Alien Hunters, uh, which the Hunter series is based on. Was there anything from um, the books that you wanted to see in the series that you... It was, was there anything that you wanted to make sure was put into the television series from the book? Oh, I'd never get... I'd never do that. Uh, when I've had quite a few movies made from my books, and I learned a long time ago that there's another creative process involved that I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to try to in, enforce anything. The thing that you have to do is to find people that you think are going to succeed with it. And, you know, when Gail was interested, I thought, she might succeed with this. <laughs> I wasn't too concerned. And then she brought on Natalie, who is extremely insightful and talented. So, And they've, I've seen uh, an episode of it, one of the early episodes. I just saw it a couple nights ago, and it's, they've really captured the underlying theme and conflicts of the story beautifully. Uh, you know, uh, 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 who are we, what is really happening in our world, and is that dangerous? You know, the fact that we don't know, I mean, is that dangerous? And, and uh, that's sort of the deep inner conflict in the series and in this book series as well. And it works. It works quite well, I think. The themes are quite relevant. Um, to now, um, in terms of not quite knowing what threats are, um, yes. this That's idea of terrorism and what is terrorism and how do we define it and what does it look like, because we don't, it's sort of a dark figure in and of itself, um, it's a very broad concept, so um, when you were writing this, what did you sort of want people to get out of it? Did you want it to be sort of... A, a very relational thing for now, or did you want it to be a more universal, long-lasting? Well, that goes back a long way, because I, some years ago I wrote a book called Communion, which was about a close encounter of the third kind that I had, but it wasn't a book about experiences and claims, it was a book about perceptions, and this is why I what I perceive, but not necessarily what happened, but nobody kind of got that. And the publisher, I have to admit, characterized it as a book about an, a close encounter experience of the third kind. The problem is, I don't even know if such a thing could happen, or if there are any aliens. You have no idea, and nobody does. So uh, I sort of struggled with that for a few years, and finally kind of backed away from trying to talk about it because I couldn't get through. Uh, and. Um, it's subsequently, in a number of books, a book I wrote called Solving the Communion Enigma, and then in the Alien Hunter series, I've been kind of wrestling with these, these questions, which are so provocative and mysterious. I've got an, another nonfiction book coming out in uh, February called Supernatural, A New Vision of the Unexplained, which attempts to re-envision this, not in terms of claims that you either believe or disbelieve, but in terms of a larger human experience, why do we even have these things, experiences? They go back thousands of years. I mean, all of these experiences of ghosts and strange lights or strange beings and stuff. In terms of Alien Hunter, I wanted to create a character who would be compelled to explore these, these mysteries while at the same time discovering his own place in it, which is kind of what my life turned out to be. And that's Flynn Cow. And so, you know, it's it's very, this, the books are really deeply embedded in my own life experience in that sense. Did that answer the question? It did. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, from the show, how much of the show have you actually seen? I've seen one episode. One episode, okay. Mm -hmm. But I've read all the scripts that have been written. Okay, so based off of that, um, what do you really want people to pull away from the show, you specifically as the author? Uh, the thing I want them to pull away from is, is that we don't know what we are. That there, is, there are things about us that are much more ambiguous and much more powerful than we would like to believe. And that, that there is an element of danger that we don't fully understand. And your reference earlier to terrorism is very important in the series because where does terrorism go? Where does, where does this 
strange sense of violence and mayhem that seems to live within our societies and move through them like a malignant shadow through all of history. I mean, the Romans could identify terrorists just like we can. And uh, why are we like this? This is what I want people. I want people to find these questions in, kind of in themselves and in the drama. Anything else? Are we doing? Well, as a writer, when you when you were putting the books together, did you have a physical manifestation in mind of the, of the type of what these characters would look like as you know as real people? And if so, and if so, how close is that to what's actually happening here with the show? Flynn's real close. They they pulled Flynn right out of the book. There's another character, Reagan, in there, who is not per se in the book under that name in the books, but. Uh, Brittany, who will is here today, is when you see this, you're gonna you're gonna really be think to yourself, my God, maybe it's possible for an alien to actually be in human form. It's really amazing. And 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 Flynn looks Flynn looks to me like my Flynn, really very much so. You know, they've done a good job, I think, in that respect. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming from here.